What's up everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at Skate 2 on the PC with the 4K settings and we'll also be trying out the 3D mode in Skate 2 later on in the video. Now the whole reason why I want to make a video about this is because I did one in the past but I only record it in 1080p and I feel like I should have done it in 4K but I didn't so oh well. So here we are again today doing this in 4K and maybe it'll be better quality for you guys to actually see the difference in 4k and you know the regular skate 2 resolution and I think one of the things that you'll notice first is that this game is a little bit more blurry than skate 1 on the PC even though I'm using the same settings however I did turn off anti-aliasing just because I wanted to like try to clear up the image a little bit because it is blurry and it was messing with me but I really don't think it helped and the frame rate is still really bad for this game I was hoping that like maybe since some updates or something that this game would run a lot smoother but it doesn't look like that's the case it doesn't look like it's the case at all because the frame rate is still just terrible now I could set it down to 30 frames per second but under the settings for the uh, ps3 emulator it says it'll cause overhead and that some games can actually run slower if you have a frame limit on it so I really didn't want to do that I, I just wanted to have normal settings just with 4k so let's just skate around I just want to do some skating for right now so you guys can get a good look at this game and what it looks like when it runs on the ps3 emulator and uh, like I said we'll do some 3d stuff later on I even got some good 3d glasses this time instead of those cheap paper ones like last time let's uh let's look at the replay see how good the yeah the replay is still like not the best frame rate either it looks just about the same really head on down to the GD high school letters just play around down here let's see what do I want to do I did a whole video of nothing but skating this part I think I, I think that was like a 30 minute video I was trying to skate every single thing here let's try to do a 360 hippie jump over this P I think we can do that I think I did it in that video but let's try it on here if I you just have to line up right Oh, got him. Nice. So it's definitely not the best frame rate. It is playable. It's not a very enjoyable experience. I mean, it looks nice, but it's not a very enjoyable experience. I think Skate 1 actually runs better on this emulator than Skate 2 does. I mean, it could just be me. It could just be some settings that I have, but... I really don't think that's it because it's the same exact settings as I'm using for Skate 1 as well. I use the same settings for all the games I run on this emulator. You know what? Let's head down to the Mega Compound. Let's see what that looks like. And it looks just like the Mega Compound. <laughs> just as I thought it would. It looks just like the Mega Compound. Let's see. Can we get a 1080? That would be nice. Ah, oh, whatever. I had that. I had the 1080. I need to go back up to the top. And I didn't set my marker. All right, 1080. Come at me. Come at me with the 1080. Nice. Got a 1080. That didn't take long at all. So I want to try a tail walk 1080. That's actually pretty difficult to do on this game, or at least it was difficult for me. And that's definitely not what I wanted. Now it did take me forever the last time I did it and I did land it. I think I put it in a video, but it is pretty difficult, at least for me, because you gotta get that last like little spin at the end. And it's really hard because the tail walk just does not want to give you that extra spin at the end. Like even if you tweak it at the end, like here we go. And see, I'm trying to tweak it and it's just not tweaking. Got an idea. Let's try to do the gap over to the right. We'll gap from up here down to the bottom bowl if we can it's frame right there so we'll try to gap from there all the way down to that bottom bowl oh maybe it'll work or maybe it won't <laughs> now you people who used to watch my streams all the time you know how long it takes me to do this challenge i remember trying this on a lot of skate 2 streams and I barely ever land it. Actually, 
I can't remember a time when I did land it on stream. Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe you guys remember. And if you do, let me know in the comments below. Nice. Now, please just land in this. Ah, I'm so close. Come on. Come on. Yes. Finally. <laughs> I'm glad I finally got that. So I just want to skate the waterfront. I know there's a section up here that looked really nice, if I remember correctly. Wow. I need to go back and do that. Let's try to do a backside flip over the bench. Um, sort of. <laughs> Looks like I tapped right there. But yeah, these little um, these little stones, or I don't know what they're called, but the little details and stuff, they look really nice. I'll slow down in a second so you know the frame rate isn't jumping around so you can actually get a good look at it. I just want to go under this bridge real quick because... It looks really nice underneath here. So I think that this is probably the best looking place with these 4K settings just because like of all the little stones and the details and stuff. I think this looks really nice. Let's go ahead and continue on. Can we play on this rock? I want to play on the rock. Is there anything we can do up it? Oh, how sick would that be? Do you guys see what I'm seeing to ride up this rock and then try to grind that flag <laughs> that would be awesome i mean it probably won't let me grind it it will probably have to just be like an ungrindable object but maybe i can at least make it look like a grind that'd be cool this is actually a pretty difficult angle to go at it i mean i should land on it i didn't want to land on the ball i just wanted to land on the flag that's why it's such a difficult angle because you have to miss the ball and land on the flag of course can't believe that actually worked. Nice. So there is a rail over here that I want to grind up. Hopefully I can get some speed from this rail and I'll be able to actually grind up this next rail right here. Um, first try. <laughs> That's awesome too. So when I go into 3D mode, I think I'll actually try to clear this whole stair set. I'll just do it the easy way with a bunch of ollies just so I can actually get some more speed. But I still think it will look pretty cool in 3D. So if you want to watch this in 3D, I suggest you put your 3D glasses on. Any cheap ones will do as long as they're the red and blue ones. And I think the code is strange loops. It says valid code 3D mode. There we go. Okay. Now let's actually go skate. Let's go to the waterfront and skate that big stair. That's the first thing I want to do. So I'm not going to lie. It actually looks pretty good in 3D on 4K. Uh, aside from the bad frame rate <laughs> and the uh, discoloration of everything. Like it's just looking at everything in red and blue. But it does pop out at you. I just wish this frame rate was smoother. I feel like 3D would look so much better if they could just do something about this frame rate. All right, where's the stair set? Okay, here it is. Let's try to get this. Definitely not enough speed. It's going to be really hard to time any trick for that, especially just because playing in 3D, the frame rate, and everything seems really bright right there. So it's really hard to see that first step, or at least for me, because I got the glasses on. Almost got it there. I do want to try to tray flip it for sure. Oh, yes. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to land it or not. I was like, is there a step down there at the bottom or not? I can't really tell. It's so bright. Let's see how good the 3D is working on this. Wow, that looks looks pretty nice. Let's zoom in, see if it pops out more. Yeah, that looks really nice. I, I really like the way that looks. Let's go to the Mega Compound again. I don't really plan on doing anything crazy there. I just want to see what it looks like in 3D because I don't think I went there last time. Maybe I did. I'm not really sure. But I want to see what it looks like now. And what do you know? It looks like the Mega Compound in 3D. Who would have guessed? I launched out there too far? No, I didn't. <laughs> this frame rate, though. 
<laughs> it's like this whole thing is working against me between the 3D, the frame rate, just everything. Nice. Am I going to land it? All right. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Can I do a backflip? I think I would have landed that, but oh well. Let's go somewhere else. How about GED High School? Let's check out the letters in 3D. All right. So this doesn't look too bad. It looks okay. And guys, if you don't have your 3D glasses on, you're really not missing out on much. You're just, you just don't have any idea about what I'm talking about, about the way it looks. But if you do happen to have 3D glasses, I definitely recommend putting them on. Or at least play your own Skate 2 game in whatever console that you play it on. And try to use your 3D glasses for it. Like I said, 3D glasses are really cheap. So it shouldn't be that hard to find some and just like bring them home and put them on and try it out. I actually found these on eBay. I think I spent like $5 and it was only for one set of glasses and it covered shipping and everything like that. And uh, the guy actually sent me like three or four pairs of these, which I wasn't expecting, but they did anyways. I guess they just wanted to get rid of them and uh, not enough people were buying them because nobody really cares about these glasses nowadays. And these are actually like NVIDIA brand, you know, the uh, graphics card developer people. These are NVIDIA brand 3D glasses. And they're actually really nice, really good quality. Get the stair set. I wanted to make it all the way to the end without clipping. No, yes, nice. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. <laughs>